Dylan Mulvaney had this campaign with Budweiser that resulted in Kid Rock blowing up uh, Budweiser cans and people and rednecks everywhere sitting and pissing. And Joe Rogan talked about it. And I have to say, well, he wasn't like explicitly supportive. He wasn't like her. He wasn't pretending to be mad about it like the rest. No, he 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 was very like, this is stupid. Why do people care about it? Mm -hmm. While drinking a Bud Light and this very mild, not just a huge denunciation of of trans people resulted in him getting absolutely slammed by his audience. You can see 57,000 down, 30,000 up. I'll tell you, man, this is kind of what I used to go through. Right. Like, if this is your audience, you got to realize at a certain point, this is not good what's happening here. Mm -hmm. It's just not good. The vast majority of your audience just hates trans people. So what is going on there? But, but to his credit, he didn't just be straight up transphobic. People are saying it was sponsored by Bud Light. This has to be the most suspect episode. Goofy isn't a grown-ass man pretending to be a six-year-old girl. That's straight jacket material. That's psychotic. Uh, what? Is that common? They're saying that Dylan Mulvaney is pretending to be a six-year-old girl. And it's a top comment? Yeah. That's, that's so two, crazy. 1.6 thousand likes. Damn, out of all the people, I never thought Joe would be on the side of piss beer. Joe will have an extra TRT to counter the side effects. Maybe we should put Joe's face on tampon boxes. What, there's now drinking Bud Light makes you trans? Is that what they're saying? They're saying he's going to have an extra TRT to compensate for... Yes, there's, uh, there's <laughs> estrogen. <laughs> Did you guys hear about Bud Light backtracking now? Oh, I never read their statement. I want to. Yeah. Can you pull that up? Yeah, I just sent it. It's not quite backtracking, but it's definitely fence-sitting, which, I mean, of course it is. It's, Fucking giant corporation there. Let's see what Bud Light had to say of this controversy. As the CEO of a, a company founded in America's heartland more than 165 years ago, I'm responsible for ensuring every consumer feels proud of the beer we brew. That's it. Stop there, right? We're honored to be a part of the fabric of this country. Anheuser-Busch employs more than 18,000 people. Yeah, whatever, dude. Get on with it. An additional 47,000 valued colleagues. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, independent distributors. We have thousands of partners, millions of fans, and a proud history supporting our community, military, first responders, sports fans, and hardworking Americans everywhere. All these good conservative values. We're one of you, brothers. We never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. Dude, shut the fuck up. We are in the business of bridging people together over a beer. My time serving this country taught me the importance of accountability and the values upon which America was founded. Freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. As the CEO of Anheuser-Busch, I'm focused on building and protecting our remarkable history and heritage. I care deeply about this country, this company, and our brands and our partners. I spend much of my time traveling across America, listening to and learning from our customers, distributors, and others. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to consumers across. That was like the most dumbass, pointless. It's more retraction than, than not, though, because he says, we never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. It's like, yeah, well, yeah, it's not really... It's using like terminology from an apology. Like yeah, he's like, apology. we fucked up yeah. by sponsoring it's this. It's like, I will person. continue to try to be the best I can be. But it's he, like, girl, yeah, you we'll, didn't do anything wrong. We'll do better. Yeah. Next yeah, time we right. won't, we will not sponsor any trans people going forward. Next time, far. only straight people for Bud Light. Yeah. <laughs> straight people for Bud Light, exactly. It's amazing how horrible they handle this. They somehow fucking pissed off both sides of an yeah. argument. It's <laughs> yeah. like Literally. amazingly. Oh, yeah, it's very impressive. Here's Joe Rogan's take. I'll let you guys watch a bit, a bit of it. The Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, you got that guy Keith, you got Lucas. There's a lot of good guys. Yeah, there. yeah. A lot of good women there, a lot of good... There's a couple of non-binaries. Yeah. We got at least one. <laughs> Checking it's all the boxes. A, it's a diverse group. <laughs> we gave him his own Bud Light after the first week. We put his face on a can. <laughs> Do you have any beer here? Yeah, you want a beer? I'd take a light beer. Okay, let's yeah. get, get some Bud Lights. Let's uh, do this. Yeah. In support of Bud Light in their time let's of stress. Let's be allies by getting a little day let's drunk. Be, we're going to be allies. <laughs> yeah. You know, because Kid Rock and Travis Tritt have put the fucking hammer down. I know. They were really fun. People were saying it's sponsored, and my first reaction was that that's a little bit silly, but it is a little weird how they're like, let's get some Bud Lights in here. And then they take one sip and put it away and don't touch it again. Fucking fighting the good fight, man. Here's my take. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> like, what you're, what you're doing, what they're doing, is just spreading the brand to uh, an extra group of people. Yeah. Why, if something is good, 
do you give a fuck who's got it? Like, would we do this with cheesecake? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if there was, like, a bomb-ass cheesecake and all of a sudden, you know, some radical group like uh-huh. Antifa really got into the cheesecake, we'd be like, fuck this. Yeah. And it's so funny how he brings up Antifa, like... The whole comparison was awful. Like, it, that's not <laughs> in any way a comparable situation. It's, yeah. not, it's not beer in general. It's specifically Bud Light. And I'm not saying I agree with the people that are upset, obviously, but it, the way he's framing it makes no fucking sense. These people want so badly to be a part of something bigger than themselves, they just wasted on the dumbest possible shit. I did a thing at Walmart today. What did you do at Walmart? You put tampons? Dude, you are so, I cannot believe you posted this. <laughs> it was so epic. He did a little art project. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe you posted this with your face in it. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You are such an idiot. Grown, fully bearded man. Also, Tampax have nothing to do with trans. You're just like, women, Whoa, women. Yeah, I mean, women drink Bud Light. Maybe. Gay. <laughs> God, you're an idiot, dude. You are so dumb. That's awesome. Love that for him. If the, it, like, if the Cheesecake Factory sent Antifa a cheesecake, yeah. you know, te- for 10 more years of chaos, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> like a celebratory, a celebratory. Yeah. If only ISIS had Bear Claw Donuts, yeah. I'm still eating those fucking But on the donuts. other hand, I loved Kid Rock's video, because I love that. I love cheers. Cheers, man. I love he, that. He's com- trying to fence it. Of course. Kid Rock, though, I love that video. Kind of thinking. On one hand, why the fuck do you care? It's psychotic. But I love that video. <laughs> but I mean, where's he going to go now? You're going to go to Coors? Miller Lite? Co- don't they all support like uh, LBGTQ plus A? So they took one tiny sip and then they never touch it again. Is that weird? Maybe they were remembered that Bud Light is that good. Bud Light sucks. <laughs> They're like, oh shit, I'm not drinking this. Also, like, the fact that he just had Bud Light on, on hand. Right, bring it back. A little conspiracy theory-ish. Uh, I mean, that's a pretty common beer to have. Yeah. Around. If they're at the studio and they have drinks. I mean, Bud Light seems like one that you'd have. That's cool. Hand. I mean, we have, yeah, we have, well, we explicitly got it because of this whole story, so. There was some in the fridge before that, even though. Yeah. We just have, we just have random beers in our fridge yeah. at all times. Yeah. <laughs> we had some strays. Yeah. Yeah, so Joe's getting a ton of shit for this. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Joe, these are your people, man. That should scare you. Why does it lie? I don't know, Joe. I just don't know, Joe Rogan. He wanted to say it was funny that people were so outraged by Dylan Mulvaney, given there are more pressing issues happening in the U.S. But I love that Kid Rock video. I mean, to be fair to Joe, I mean, we really enjoyed that video, too. Oh, yeah. Like, for different reasons, but, like, that video is Grandpa hilarious is how yeah. fucking insane he is. Yeah. When, when Lena came to the locker room, she was asking how I was feeling. I said, well, Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today, I think. 